When there's an injury that may have involved the radial nerve, we need to examine this. Uh, the sensory distribution of the radial nerve is quite variable, but it uh, usually involves the dorsal surface of the thumb, the index finger, middle finger, and the radial half of the ring finger. There is a lot of overlap with the median nerve, and a variable amount of the dorsum of those digits can be innervated by the median nerve. So when we want to go to somewhere that is going to give us a reliable answer as to whether the radial nerve sensory area is affected or not, it's the dorsum of the first web space. So I would touch the patient here, stroke them here, and then in exactly the same place on the other hand, and ask them if they can notice any difference between the two. Then moving on to the motor aspect of the radial nerve, uh, we want to test their extensors, so I'd ask them to uh, cock the wrist up, try and stop me from putting it down. You can feel the tendons of the ECRL and ECU. And then I would ask them to extend their fingers, and we would need to test all the extensors of the fingers, the e extensor digiti minimi, EDC, EIP, and the extensors of the thumb um, as shown in the separate videos.